Hi Libra, this is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. This is your March 2018 Love General Tarot reading for Libra Sun, Moon Rising, or Venus. Some of the messages may or may not resonate with you. If you need more clarity, just check the description box below and uh, all my information is there how you can contact me. Okay Libra, so I'm not doing the Celtic Cross spread for March. I just wasn't feeling it. So um, I'm going to use the Angel Oracle, Romance Angels Oracle deck here, this pink one, and I'm going to clarify with the Rider Waite mini deck, okay? And just, I'm going to do a different spread. All right. Okay, Libra, finances, career, make the offer, reconciliation. Retreat. I feel like pulling out of here now. And the wedding card. Okay. So your past position, you have reconciliation. So, okay, did someone from your past come back in the recent past? Or, oh, look, the Six of Cups, another reconciliation card. That's a double whammy. Could be a Leo. Some of you... Um, have a strong connection with someone from your past who recently returned to you or some of you were with your high school sweethearts and then they've come and then they came back um, that kind of energy going on but very very strong connection with a particular person it could be a water sign could be a Leo doesn't have to be but this is someone that you have known a very very long time and uh, it, it could have just been recently that you've reconnected with this with this person um, and the Knight of Cups so there could have been a love offer that was made or some kind of an offer uh, again I always say with the Knights just watch out because they do sweep you off your feet that kind of energy they don't ever stay um, moving like a king in his chair chairs don't move but horses horses move okay so it's kind of like um, there may have been some type of offer he may have offered he or she may have offered something to you but that cup is empty right so it may have been an offer for you to fill something for them fill up their cup I mean I can't 100% say it's empty. I kind of feel like it's 50-50 for you guys. Some, You may have someone had someone come back from the past who offered you an empty cup expecting you to fill it <laughs> again. Or there is something in there um, and they are and they were actually offering something to you. Okay. Your present situation is finances and career financial issues are a factor in your love right life right now okay so you guys are very much focused on your careers or you're focused on money okay so some of you you're trying to balance your investments in your checkbook and and you're trying to balance your your this relationship and also your career and your money Okay, so you're not 100% focused on the relationship. And another reconciliation card. Um, but this can also, this can relate to reconciling where you are fiscally in your life right now. Okay, and, and I do feel like you know that's it but also you know trying to get to the truth of the matter of of where you are uh, financially you know and uh, and also find a way to balance a relationship and your career uh, I feel like for a lot of you, your career is very important to you and it's not something that you are willing to just give up just because someone's coming in and offering something to you or someone's returning from the past um, you know, you feel very strong, uh, you love what you do, and, you know, you may be the type who enjoys to travel a lot, and, 
<coughs> Excuse me. I keep coughing. You may. I feel like I'm seeing a lot of you uh, somewhere. Did you recently travel somewhere where, like, there's a volcano? <laughs> An island of some sort? Um, it's weird. It's so strange to me, too, when I look at this card, because it says finances and career are a factor in your love life right now. But she's just, like, out there picking posies, so I don't even get it. It's like, I feel like it's interfering in some way, too. You may need to actually really work on trying to balance your relationships with your career. Because some of you might be very, you know, so focused on work that you're forgetting about love. And I know a lot of you leave me comments and say, uh, no, <laughs> we're trying to fix our relationships. But, you know, I just feel like the, the temperance card is here for you to... And this could be the Sagittarius card. Could be for you to try to find balance between the two. You may be neglecting someone because you're working so much. So you may need to come to the truth. Or someone may come to you and say, hey, what about me? What about our time? That kind of thing. And some of you may feel like, okay, you know, we reconciled and, and things are good. So now I can just get back to, to my work. And that's great. But if you're neglecting someone, that's not great. Or, you know, there could be someone who reconciles with you, that person from the past, and then they're just like, you never see them because all they do is work. And that King of Pentacles just popped out. So that's definitely the businessman or woman. Um, it's a general reading, so it can go, it could be either sex, either gender. Um, so, yeah, I feel like... You like to work, but you, it, you know, you may need to take a look. See here, you have what's driving you is to make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. If you haven't been on an island with a volcano, you may actually be going on a vacation or going somewhere like Hawaii or somewhere wherever, as long as they're not erupting. I think like in Bali or somewhere, as long as they're not oh, erupting, then you're good. Although, you might actually go to take a vacation somewhere where that actually does happen. So, be careful if you're going somewhere. Anyway, um, yeah, you're, you're a little bit fearful about making the transition to, um, you know, I don't know, there's something holding you back from putting all your energy into... This, this relationship, this reconciliation. Mm. You don't want things to fall apart. Maybe they had in the past and then this person came back and you know you want to make the effort, but you're fearful that if you do, everything will come crashing down or your life will change. Maybe you fear success. Maybe you fear being successful because it's safer for you to be in your stuck in your focus on work and things like that. Maybe... I mean, you have a very strong connection with this person from the past, and I, I feel that there was kindness. I don't really, I, I mean, you know, or, or this make the effort card with these other two clarifiers. Maybe you need to move. And even though you know it's necessary, uh, maybe for the relationship to work and to balance things out, it may be something that you need to do. And I'll tell you, I keep sometimes I just get the weirdest messages. How I was talking about that volcano. I, I all right, so I'm 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 feeling like earthquake. Right. I don't yeah. know. I don't know if you if you do something that has you working for like in humanitarian efforts or something along those lines or you're with someone that does that I just keep getting a sense that um, I 
something also on, on a very general level is calling you to give support and aid to people who are suffering in other countries. I really feel like that's what the message is. You'd be that guiding light. Look how you have these two angels here. Judgment, temperance. You have some work to do. I feel like for some of you, there could be, you know, your partner and you, this person coming back and and you guys going somewhere where there's trouble in other countries or taking a trip um, to put in like um, Red Cross aid or things like that. It's so weird how those messages come out. Sometimes they just do. I'm sure it's not for everyone, but... I just felt like I had to say that. You've got the retreat card here. So that's you and the other person taking time, you know, to disconnect from the world. And that's also backing up what I was feeling. You know, you're disconnecting from the modern world. The modern world full of technology and banking and money, you know, and um, city life and things like that. You're retreating with someone. You guys are going on some kind of effort. Look at the Page of Cups there. Offering your love and hope. Bringing messages of hope and love to people and to each other. It's really cool. It's like really, really cool. Um, some of you have just, you know, had it with your jobs. And tired of working in this humdrum office desk job doing nothing 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 you want to travel you want to go places you want to help people and I think you have someone with you who can financially help you with that and who is on board and then you've got the wedding card coming up here so some of you may be getting married in a far off distant place that's what this two of wands, that's two people, look, holding the world. Pick any country you want to go to, just go. Right? Maybe making a decision for marriage somewhere in another country or, you know, something along those lines. New beginnings in communication. There's like a potential for reaching people. I, I feel like you, uh, you're you going to be like the Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie of the world. <laughs> you know, on a humanitarian effort together. It's so far-fetched and I'm sure it's reaching 1% of you. <laughs> But I just have to give you what comes. Um, so let's say that's not happening. Let's say you're just simply going on a vacation. Okay, let's just say that. And you're going somewhere where there's a volcano and there might be, you might be worried there's an earthquake, but you're going to do it anyway. Okay, because um, you're going to take a little retreat with your partner. This one, someone that you've re reconcil reconciled with. Okay. Um, and if, you, if those of you are listening, you say, I haven't reconciled with anyone, then I'm just feeling like you may have just reconciled a relationship and put peace to something from your past. Because I do see some of you are reconciling with an earth sign or a king of pentacles, and some of you are going to be meeting this person, okay, through work. You can meet them at work. Um, and there could be a work trip that gets planned where an offer of love of some sort comes through for you, okay? Temperance and judgment are here together, so there's a balancing of truth that comes out, perhaps from this King of Pentacles about you, okay? Um, either way, it's ending in marriage, <laughs> or at least a proposal of some sort that could involve marriage. Okay, Libra, so I'm going to end your reading there because I'm starting to get a little bit of a headache. I think 
that volcano earthquake thing was giving me a headache. <laughs> so weird. Okay, so uh, again, if you need a personal reading, just check the description box below and you can reach me there. All right, so I will talk to you in April. All right, take care. Bye.